but you're a little ahead of yourself. I'm here to basically address the issue of what should be paramount, because not many people have to testify in Congress, but a lot of Americans have to file their taxes. Hunter Biden is preparing to defend himself against gun-related charges, and then three months later against charges of tax evasion. His attorneys blame Republicans. What they don't do is take a two-count misdemeanor in June and turn it into a nine-count, 56-page indictment in December. But Republicans are still trying to figure out why the first son does not have to answer allegations he lobbied illegally for foreign powers, engaged in sex trafficking, lied to Congress, or played a role in campaign finance violations. What had happened with his lateness, why he was, as everybody knows, at the bottom of the barrel of his addiction to crack cocaine, which explains a lot of his misconduct, and also addresses whether he was in what they call a scheme as opposed to just being at the, you know, the dullest part of addiction. Hunter Biden represented the interests of entities in Ukraine and China in ways critics say should have triggered disclosure requirements under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. He reportedly paid for the travel of prostitutes across state lines in potential violation of the Mann Act, a sex trafficking law. He accepted millions to settle his taxes from a friend who expressed a desire to make the issue disappear ahead of the 2020 election. Investigators under the direction of then-Delaware U.S. Attorney David Weiss, who was appointed special counsel in August, did not pursue charges against Hunter or others involved. Weiss offered Hunter a plea deal to keep him out of jail. The deal unraveled under questioning from a judge, setting off a chain of events which led to Weiss indicting Hunter in Delaware and California on gun and more serious tax charges. Republicans have considered Hunter Biden's alleged FARA violations the strongest case against him, which never materialized. While Joe Biden served as vice president, Hunter was on the payroll each month starting in 2014 to serve on the board of Ukrainian energy company Burisma. By contrast, the Justice Department took a far more aggressive approach to enforcing FARA against Trump associates. This includes former Trump advisors Paul Manafort and Rick Gates, who were not allowed to file FARA disclosures and instead faced criminal charges charges for unregistered foreign lobbying.